прежде всего я хочу ответить знаком благодарности Алана из Австралии, который, в общем-то, преподнес шест так, как, в общем-то, я думаю. Виталий wants to do to thank you, Alan from Australia, for opportunity and, and for presentation of uh, Vitaly's thoughts. I, I'm going to translate of Vitaly's thoughts about the pole vault technique and pole vault uh, approach and pole vault approaching techniques. Сегодня мы остановимся лишь только на одной части прыжка, но я считаю, что одной из самых главных частей прыжка это перевод шеста и вталкивание его в прыжок. So the most important uh, portion that Vitaly wants to spend time on is on the takeoff and on the plan. This is the most critical uh, part of the pole vault. Значит, термин свободное свободное отталкивание появилось мною в 1985 году на конференции ИАФ в Бирмингеме. In 1985, in, in conference in Berlin game, the Vitaly brought the new term in the free takeoff. Уже 20 лет ходит этот термин, и еще мы не очень представляем себя, а что же это такое свободный толчок. So the, this term it's, it's, it's came up since, since then time, and, and nobody still explode completely what, what does it mean, but this is the new uh, revolution term in, in the world, the free takeoff. Когда впервые Сергей Бубка выиграл чемпионат мира в 83-м году, многие подумали, что, в общем-то, это случай или удача одного из спортсменов. So in 83, when Сергей Бубка won the first world champion, everybody thought it, everybody thought it just, uh, just success. I mean, it's, it's kind of like just... Uh, This only success in every note. Like, it, 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 yeah, like it, it's, it's another athlete, it's another young athlete, but nobody pay attention to, to, to something new. And when in the next year, in the 84th year, Sergei basically achieved the world with the world records, he established seven world records, the world understood that here is not only a success, but a very difficult process. But the, the next year, uh, Sergei proved that this is a new technical approach. Uh, this is the new uh, thing in the pole vault technique. Uh, when he set up uh, seven world records at this, uh, the, uh, the following year. Что же необходимое для выполнения свободного отталкивания? So now we're going to look what what you need to do in the in the free takeoff. Ну, первое это положение прыгуна шестом перед началом перевода. This is four principles of the free takeoff, and you can see that, and you can read that. This is the pole vault position uh, as, as, as the first uh, step yeah, before the plan. Uh, second способ выполнения перевода шестая. The second position uh, it's it's correct plan on the pole. Yeah, the, uh, the the mark of the grip on the on the premises of the pole. Yeah, and and the, and the proper takeoff position, uh, takeoff plan, place, uh, takeoff place. На рисунке здесь мы видим, что шест перед переводом находится в последнем положении Прыгун приходит в положение перед переводом. Вот это положение. In the final, in the final picture, you can see this is the the, the position where the, uh, the Walter uh, when when Walter comes to the position before the plant. This is the position you're gonna start plant from. What is principal in this in this in this position? 
что в начале разбега пригон удерживает левую руку в середине, она находится на том же месте и приходит к переводу, левая рука не меняет своего положения. So what, what, what Vitaly wants to tell you, if you're looking at the three pictures at the same time, that, that the position of the left hand does not change during the, the runway and just before the deployment. So the left arm acts, acts as, as a fulcrum. Положение шеста находится перед горизонталью, перед параллелью, а не выше или ниже. Это очень важное положение для начала перевода. The most important uh, in this picture is the, the position of the pole. It's just a little bit above the horizontal. It's not too high and it's not lower than the horizontal line. Положение шеста не только определяется этим, а также нахождением его по отношению к центру массы. Шесть находится в 15-20 сантиметрах выше, чем центр массы. The, the, the position of the pole is uh, 15 centimeters, it's like uh, half a foot above the center of the mass. So very, very, very important that the left hand, that the left hand, uh, can you repeat one more time? Yeah. So it's very important that the left hand it stay in the same position just before the plant as as during the uh, during the uh, run. Очень важным остается движение. Выдержка шеста на положении выше центра тяжести. Это лучшее в исполнении лучших прыгунов. Будем считать, что кубка и тарасов – это классический стиль, и это современные прыгуны прошедшего года. As, as you can see on the picture, Vitaly called that the best performance in, in, in showing you the position of the pole uh, during, before the plant is Bubka uh, and Tarasov. Uh, it's a classical, it's a classic, he told. And the, the, the recent uh, pole vaulters on the Olympics were, were demonstrating the same position. Very important, очень важно удерживать левую руку рядом с туловищем. It's very important to keep the left hand next to the trunk. Выдерживая это положение, прыгун все время чувствует левую руку готовым для перевода. By doing that, the water will fill the left hand ready to plant. Удлинение позиции левой руки перед переводом, как мы видим немного у Тарасова, у Тима Мака, и есть немножко и у Стивенсона, намного больше у Павлова, это приведет so if you move the left hand a little bit forward, so the, uh, the weight of the pole is going to pull you forward and, and it makes you uh, more difficult to plant the pole. So this is a, a common mistake. Они перескочили. Ну хорошо. Оставим это. Выполнение прыгунов перевода шеста должно быть обязательное. Раздвоение перевода на два шага. Okay, you have to divide the plant in two steps. It, this is a must. Очень важный элемент, который сохранит у нас динамику разбега. Uh, the, the very important element is to, to, to maintain the dynamics of the runway. Uh, it, it will help you to keep the, the strides length the same, constant. Increase the tempo of the, of the strides. И очень важно в этом положении мы считаем это выведение таза. Перевод перед переводом. 
and it's what uh, it, what is very important is to move the pelvis forward before the the, uh, the plant. Stevenson, one of the uh, best performers in that in that position. Но что получается? Мы должны сделать обязательно перевод, не уводя первый перевод, первого шага, что мы сейчас видим на картинке, не уводя левой руки далеко от прыгуна. Okay, what is very important is to not move the left hand in too much in front, uh, in, in front of the water in, in the first step on the plank. Очень далекое левое положение руки у Павлова, приходя на правую ногу. Yeah, the Павлов has very long plant. This is this is the Павлов mistakes. He he plants too far as as far as the uh, Vitaly thinks. Немного лучше положение Тимака. Тимак a little better. Очень низкое и далекое положение руки у Стивенсона. Стивенсон too low. Достаточно уверенное положение у Тарасова, но она все-таки удалена. Тарасов, it's better, but it's still a little bit, a little bit too far. Удалена она также у Сергея и немного у Джибелиска. Джибелиска и Сергей still have the, the tendency to move it too far. I'm... Идеальным положением в этом в первом шаге для левой руки оставить ее под 90 градусов. Ideal situation is to leave the left hand under 90 degree. Can you show me, please? That's the exercise. That's the position when you're standing on your left foot. This is the first step on the plan, and and Vitali, Vitali, I mean, and the the research says that it's better to have 90 degree right on on the first step on the plan. Можно заметить положение правой руки, которое говорит, что сейчас стало необязательно выводить правую руку впереди головы, как это было в металлическом шесте. Okay, if you compare the the plant, now we will start talking about the right hand at the same time. So, the... we, you don't have to move the the. Uh, the right hand too far as as people were doing on the straight poles on the metallic poles but if you move it the, the right hand too forward that makes your left hand uh, lose that 90 degree ideal position so the the the, the plant happened the, the plant done by moving the right hand uh, up with the continuing to hold the left hand in front of in front of the body. You have to move the pole. Okay, the pole has to rotate in the left hand next to your body. Up. And the, the right hand, and the right hand, if, if Vitaly shows you right there, the right hand, it's very important, the right hand, it rotates, it's curl the pole next to your body, ne next to your body, up, up, up on the plant. You have to open your, your right shoulder to let your right hand to bring the, the arm next to your body up. So you don't have to move the, the right hand too much forward. You have to just bring it, you, you have to move it up. Еще одним из важных элементов перевода является опережающее движение рук или приход рук положение, окончательное положение на каждом из шагов до касания стопы на опоре. The hands supposed to outstrip your feet on every step. That meaning by uh, that the hands has to outstrip, outstrip and get in a position, in a proper position before your foot touch the ground. 
Сейчас я вам покажу идеальную позицию на правой ноге после первого шага перевода. He will show, Vitaly show the ideal position on when you're standing on the right foot after you after you rotate the the after you rotate the ball. This is the this is the position on on your right foot when you're standing on the right foot. Yeah, you have to. He he's kind of like standing on the ground, but what he's saying, you have to get. Can you show that position again? He has. To, you have to stay in this position before your right foot touches the ground. It's kind of like you're in the air. Okay. First of all, you got into the position, and after that, you touch the ground. That, this is the, the key, the key element that the coach look during the practice and during the, uh, uh, you know. Если же посмотреть у наших прыгунов, то можно сказать, что достаточно в хорошем положении остается Тарасов. Тарасов shows one of the best position in what, what, what Vitaly is talking about. Будем говорить, что в этом прыжке немножко. Низко держит шест правой рукой Сергей. Сергей was a little bit low on that in during that jump. Немного высоковато, немного высоковато. A little bit above the 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 nice position. I mean, a little bit above the team has has that position. It's too too much high. И очень низко Павло и Стивенс. Too too low Павло и Стивенс. Что же получается от этого, от этого движения? Какие недостатки и преимущества? That, that's key position and uh, Vitaly gonna explain you what is, what is the advantages and disadvantages if you are not hitting that position. Если, при, если мои руки приходят в положение на левой и на правой ноге раньше, чем ноги, мои ноги практически не имеют амортизации в коленном суставе. Не имеют? Не имеют. If your if your hands out outstrip your legs, so that means can you repeat one more time? Я хочу повторить еще раз, что если это случится, что мы перевод сделаем пока в точное положение на каждом шаре на левой и на правой раньше, чем коснуться ноги, то амортизации в коленном суставе практически не будет. If if you rotate and set up that position with your with your hands, your hands outstrip your your feet before the feet touch the ground. That means when you touch the ground, there is no amortization in your knees and 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 the legs gonna work as they supposed to. Я прямо продемонстрирую идею этого перевода. He's gonna show the idea of that of that uh, plan. When ball comes earlier than 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 feet touch the ground, so it's, <coughs> so that means that the athlete has the opportunity to transfer the speed of the run or to velocity of the run and power of the run right into the ball. There is no lose of the energy of the runway. He's gonna show it one more time. So the, it, it's, everything starts with your hands and the hands moving the pole and the legs are pushing the pole up. So it's going to be hands, step, hands, step. Мы посмотрим сейчас это положение. Тарасов достаточно высоко, нормально держит, но с легким подседанием. Бубка низко и колено согнутое. Более точное положение у джебелиста, более прямая нога. Ну, здесь просто удержание шеста, потому что левая рука ушла вперед. Давай, давай, на каждого расскажем. Uh -huh. Okay, so the, what he's saying, Tarasov, Tarasov is a little bit low, so it's too much, too much uh, weakness in the, in the knee during that position. Bubka, still low, the Dibelisko, ideal, uh, he was looking as, as an ideal situation. The, uh, 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 Stevenson. Стивенсон. Стивенсон хорошо стоит на ногах, достаточно высоко, хотя и держит очень хорошее положение. Стивенсон holds the ball too low, but the, the legs position are very, very good. 
Сейчас я вам покажу еще раз, очень внимательно просмотрите положение перевода на первом шаре, которое не должно уводить шеста вперед. The, the, the key of the good plan is the position of the pole on the first step of the plant. So it's two steps before the takeoff. You have to keep the pole next to the, the, the body of the, of the water. You cannot move the pole too much forward. You cannot move the pole too much forward, otherwise you're going to carry the pole rather than the push it. So you have to cut, you have to close, he call it close the ribs and, and keep the, the, uh, the pelvis upwards. In this case, the, your trunk is going to have like an absolutely flat, flat stomach and In this case, you will you will keep you will keep the body in a running position. You will not have any any energy any any place where the energy goes away from from your um, from your um, from your from your body and and the uh, hips not hips but the uh, the pelvis should be uh, upward. So, so now we're going to talk about the position before the takeoff. Мы уже говорили на о том, что в переводе руки должны прийти в положение правильное положение исходное положение перед отталкиванием раньше, чем придет стопа. As a, as a result of previous motion, as a result of pre previous position, your hands gonna come to the takeoff position before your foot, and you're ready to take off. Практически идеальным положением является бубка и тарас. Бубка и тараса. This is an example of that position. Ближе бубки и тараса находится тимак. Тимак is very close. Джибелиска. Джибелиска. А Стивенсон и Павлов приходят согнутой левой рукой. And Stevenson and Павлов has the, the, uh, the has the left hand bended. Это значит, что вталкивание шеста в свободный толчок практически эти прыгуны не сделают. That means that they will not be able they will not be able to uh, to to do the free take off. Just before the takeoff, this is very important. Just the, the, before the takeoff, this is the position of, that you have to look for your your walters. The left the left hand is straight. This is a must. You cannot you cannot bend the hand or or you, you cannot have it uh, weak. You cannot you cannot stop it with your shoulder. This is the, the most, uh, I mean, this is one of the important uh, position for your, for your uh, hand before the takeoff, to, to transfer the energy to the pole. Поставьте следующий кадр. Сейчас прыгуны пришли в вертикальное положение. Now you, you, you are in a vertical on, on a takeoff position. Кто из прыгунов смог удержать левую руку прямую? Whoever, whoever were able to keep the, the left hand straight в направлении вверх yeah. выше 45 градусов moving upwards beyond 45 degrees можно считать, что практически отталкивание совершится на 90% правильно. We can tell that it's, it's 90% of the success of the jump and, and I mean, take off and the jump. The rest of them have been up almost straight. But his grip is too wide. So, 
So that, that makes the ball a little bit uh, away from the body and then there is no full transfer of the, uh, the energy from the run. Sergey was uh, almost ideal. It's 99.9%. Jibilisko is it's stopping the, uh, the takeoff because the hand is too low. Paolo has a high left hand and then he capable I mean able to, to transfer the energy. <coughs> Americans shows the same I mean the, a little bit bent in the, in the hand. It's, it's become that it's not necessary to keep the, the right hand straight. You, you're trying to do, I mean, the, the athlete's supposed to do it, but it's not 100% not necessarily. The most attention the athlete's supposed to pay on moving the force through the left hand. The position when the, the, the pelvis is too backwards, like Pavlov and Timak, and a little bit Stevenson. And on the top level, you see that the, the, the pelvis is it's, it's in a proper position uh, to the you know to the on three pictures. That, that means these pictures, when you analyze later on, that means that the pictures when, when the position of the pelvis is upward versus the forward tells you how the, the, uh, the, athlete, were using, how the athlete were using your left hand during the plant. If, 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 the, if uh, the, ta the, uh, the pelvis is backwards, that means that arm was too far away. Движение прыгунов на верхних картинках плечами и руками больше проходит вверх. The, the whole energy goes up on the top level. <coughs> and, and on the low level, the whole energy and the whole takeoff goes more horizontal uh, rather than vertical. Это говорит о том, что вообще-то передача у этих прыгунов вверх на передачу энергии для шеста не совсем точная. That, that tells you that the energy, it, it was caused by, by a mistake done on the previous uh, steps and, and during the plant. And, and it, 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 will not, it will not transfer the whole energy right into the pole. I mean, the difference between, uh, the, difference, yeah, the, difference between the, uh, the top position and left position. Положение прыгунов у яса талкивания. Здесь вообще становится разница огромная в исполнении. And, and as a result, and as, an, as a result of, of uh, non-proper or, or a mistake planned, you can see when they clear the ground. Здесь уже становится необязательным удержание левой руки. Она согнутая. Now you can bend the left hand. Because you already transferred the energy to the pole, now the, the goals are different. You don't have to bend the pole. 
И одно из главных, в общем-то, здесь положений – это стремление Прыгуна как можно больше и глубже после этого движения продвинуться грудью и телом и тазом вперед. What what the athlete is supposed to do? It has to move with the the body and the trunk and the and, and the um, uh, and the pelvis as much forward as possible. То есть я сейчас покажу примерно, как выполняется начало толчка, вертикальность толчка и уход с толчка. He'll he'll show you how to how to you start the takeoff and you finish the takeoff. I mean, start the takeoff, takeoff and finish the takeoff. And this is where this is what called clear uh, clear takeoff. This is start takeoff. This is vertical. And now he's he's taking off. He's penetrating the pole and taking off and clearing the gr uh, the uh, the ground of that position. You don't have to think about. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to think to bend the ball. Now you can think how to go through forward. They they still not clear the ground, and the hands are still bended. They still, they still following the left hand, right? Uh, they, they still following the right, uh, the, the left hand uh, force into into the pole. If you look at the Stevenson picture, he already lose some energy because he is behind the pole. T market's good. He is, he is attacking the ball very aggressively. Too far, too far for Pablo. Too far for Jibilisco as well. Tarasov, Bubka, Bubka and Tarasov keep, keep the hands uh, High and, and, and transferring the, the the energy more more vertically. <coughs> now we're gonna look at uh, women's uh, athletes. show more disciplined position uh, carrying the pole. The, the, only, the only difference is, is drag, uh, drag, uh, She is carrying too far. He, he, he will explain why the women more uh, uh, organized or more disciplined in compare with men. The pole is, as, as it was described, below, I mean, beyond the, the, the pelvis, the, the line of the, of the mass, the, the center of the mass. Rogovska, it's a little bit low. And, and and Stacy carrying too low and, and too much forward. The the most problem that the women have uh, is the arch on, on in your back. On on the Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Now, now we're gonna look at the at the position on the right hand, on the right foot. 
Положение направленное, конечно, оно испорчено вот этим фото, как фотографом, да, будем говорить. Оно переведено, пере переведено правильно? Оно переведено. Нет, нет, все правильно, все правильно. Мы посмотрим, положение на правом ноге очень низкое у Драгилы. Драгила shows really low position of the pole on, 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 on the uh, right foot, but it's, for her it's a left foot, so because she is, she is lefty. Бекер выводит далеко вперед правую руку, из-за этого прав... левая рука выпрямляется. Yeah, and the left hand is too far out. Ну, очень плохо видно здесь, но достаточно четко делает и Самбаева. Перек и Феофанова. This and Bayer Perek and Feofanova show that the the the, uh, the plant position much better, but it's covered by the the whatever the man. <laughs> Those three on the top uh, not moving the the uh, the pole too much forward, they bring the pole next to your torso and and Uh, keeping the left hand right in front of the body. Дайте следующую картинку еще. Посмотрим положение женское в предпоследнем шае на правой ноге или это уже на левой, на левой ноге? На левой ноге. Да. Дай. Now we're gonna, ah. we gonna look at the penultimate step on on uh, it's on the left foot. Интересную деталь у женщин мы можем просмотреть в движении на толчковую ногу. When you're moving on the take of foot, it's, it's very interesting to, to look at the all women. Практически многие из них держат левую руку согнутую, что считается вообще-то неправильным. All, all, of them, all of them keeping the left hand bended, what considered it's not right. <laughs> И нижняя половина Драгила, Беккер и Роговская держат руки достаточно четко перед, перед отталкиванием. But the lower portion, uh, the Драгила, Роговская и... Uh, who is the third one? Huh? Драгила, Роговская и Беккер. And Беккер. They, they are keeping the left hand straight, which is, which is a very good... Uh... Есть небольшая проблема у женского шеста в этом положении. In this position, There is a little problem uh, among the female athletes. Женщины имеют хват достаточно низкий. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's a problem. It's it's a, it's a result because the grip it's lower than than the men have. So, а раз они имеют хват низкий и узкий, so due to the, the lower grip and and the narrow grip. So the pole gonna stay. The pole gonna stay too high above the ground. That's why it's much convenient to keep the left hand straight. It's it's just a result of the grip. Top three athletes make the, the the beginning of the plan properly, but because of the grip, that's why the the, the, the uh, left hand is bended, and the lower portion of, of the of the picture, as you can see, because they made a mistake. The lower the three athletes they made a mistake moving the ball too much forward. Now they are in the ideal position. Now in a vertical position. Yeah. 
Becker and Dragovska uh, looks much more prepared for the takeoff than the Feofanova, uh, Isenbaeva, and, uh, and the top third, third person. Dragil, after she moved the pole too much forward on, on the first step, has to move her left, left hand towards to the body to attack, to attack the pole, uh, to attack the pole with the maximum force. The top, the top three athletes who showed the the, uh, the nice plant on, on the beginning, due to the lower grip, shows uh, he would say not proper technique, but it's it's just because just just because of the lower grip. But ideally, they, they the result of that was was bending the left the, the left arm. And and the, the key the key pictures on those pictures you know, on those six pictures the, the key uh, position that is in by and drug and uh, Stacy they're bending the ball during the takeoff which is bad and and the rest of them show the nice transformation of the energy into the straight pole up. So the, the key in the technique of the free takeoff is you have to step on your takeoff foot when your lower hand straight up. This is the clearing the ground. The, the Simbaeva knows her mistake and, and, and she not attacking the ball at all. Fiofanova, Kurek, Becker and Dragila, they show very, very aggressive takeoff into the ball. The freedom, the freedom of the takeoff, uh, Stacy and and Simbaeva, Stacy and Simbaeva has less freedom on the takeoff because the pole already bent it and they already they already under the pole. So the rest of the girls shows the very aggressive takeoff. When you put the pole at the same angle between the pole and the ground, you can you can grip the pole as narrow, middle, and wide. And this is three positions that you can you know hold the pole. He's going to explain what what is the key elements on on the on the grip: the wide grip, narrow grip, or or. or. The angle, the angle between the pole and the ground does not change if you, if you narrow or wider your grip. Ninety degrees is ideal. The wide grip, it's it's like a it's like a stop. Uh, the wide grip doesn't prevent you from the takeoff high. And the the athlete who is who is gripping who is gripping too wide cannot transfer the whole energy to the pole. If 
посмотреть на Брюна, который хочет изменить пол сестра по отношению к земле, он должен сделать это тоже. If you want to change the angle, if you want to change the angle between the ground and the pole, you have to do it only with your left hand. If you think this is the, the most higher, the, the most high, the, the most high uh, position on, on the takeoff, but you, you might be mistaken, you can bring the pole higher. If you bring the left hand up, so the angle between the, the ground and the pole, it will be higher. So in this case, if you want to try to do a perfect takeoff, you have to pay attention more how to take off through the left hand rather than through the, the right hand. So if you imagine and you want to change the angle between the ground and the pole and you bring two hands together, so the angle is going to be much higher. So now you have to imagine if, if the athlete is going to run through, take off into the left hand and after that load the right hand. So in this case, the ideally the, 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 uh, the vision is to load your left hand up and after that load the right hand up, I mean, up, up uh, afterwards. And, and we are talking about the, just the takeoff, just the point of the takeoff. So after after you transfer, after you transfer that energy up through the left hand, you don't have to keep it straight. You can bend it afterwards because you don't need it anymore. Now you have to concentrate on coming through with your body, with your body forward and, and getting the energy forward rather than just holding the left hand straight. Yeah, so the idea is when he start taking off, when you start planting, the, not planting the ball, but finishing the plant, you, you're going through the vertical, right? You go through the vertical of, of you move, yeah, you move the, you move the left hand on the vertical, and after you take off, you can, you can bend your left hand and, and start moving your right hand. Now we're going to look at the picture. This is what kind of uh, showing. This is the beginning of the takeoff. The left hand is straight. When you go through the vertical, you, you're still keeping it up. And after you take off, you, you're concentrating going through the, vert, through, the, through the runway and you can, bend, you can load the right hand. You can bend the left hand after you take off, up to 90 degrees. Now you're going to see the difference, what is the, the grip makes if you hold narrow, it's, it's on, the, on, the right, on the right side, in the middle it's going to be uh, middle and, 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 and on the left side it's wide. So now you're going to see the difference between the, in, in, in you, you will see the difference in the take-off. On, on, when, you, when you hold narrow, you, you are moving pole, uh, you are moving pole high and good. 
but you cannot move too much into you don't have enough room to move into the left hand and load and, and, and transfer the energy. The position is good, but you don't have enough, enough space to move into it. If you're going to grip wide, you're going to have the same result but opposite because you, 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 don't, you cannot transfer the energy into the pole because of your, your wide grip. You cannot achieve 90 degree. You cannot achieve 90 degree on a takeoff because your right hand does not let you do that. And 65 centimeters, it's about two feet. It's it's a it's a, a two feet and a couple of inches. So uh, this is the, the yeah 65 60 yeah 60 65 centimeters gives you the ability to move. Give you the ability to move forward into the C position after after you t after you take off. The, that will give you the ability. That will give you the ability to, to use your swing into the transfer of the energy right in, right into the pole. And and the next speaker gonna tell you the gym, gymnast gonna tell you how to do that. And he he will explain the the theory and the ideas behind uh, increasing the energy into the pole after the takeoff. We're going to just repeat the, the key points. This is when you, when you step on, on your right foot. Before the takeoff, your left hand has to be straight. And the body ready to the takeoff. There is no, there is no bending, there is no leaning back. This, the, the body is straight, the trunk is straight, the pelvis is upwards. On the, on the vertical left hand, move it, make make the move, make uh, it straight and it, it transfer the energy into the pole. Uh, after the, after the vertical position, just just before the clearing the ground. You're moving, you're moving your body through the vertical with the maximum speed of the body into the left hand, which can, which can bend into the 90 degrees. Now, in the, in, the last, in the last picture, your pelvis, your, your trunk, and your hand, your, your, your trailing uh, foot ready to do a swing. This is this is the uh, this this picture I show how deep the every athlete goes after the takeoff. The the, the, the best it's book. <laughs> he cannot do anything about it. So. <laughs> T Mark very good too. Stevenson it has like a little Stevenson has a little stiff left hand. The GPS is stopping himself as well. Pavlov stopping himself as well with the left hand. You can, yeah, and this is, he, he was uh, strong about it. You cannot hold left hand straight after the takeoff. No way. It, uh, if, if, your, if your left hand is straight, uh, after the takeoff, your swing is going to be on the bottom, not on the top. From the bottom, not from the, not from the whole body. <coughs> and you can see the women as well. Becker ideal. The, 
the, uh, for, for, by his opinion, uh, uh, he, he thinks that Becker shows uh, absolutely perfect uh, and ideal technique as as a pole vaulter. The Isambaya shows the same picture. It's 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 similar, but the, the hand is it's a little bended. And Fiofana was uh, making a mistake by keeping the straight, the left hand straight. It looks good. It looks what he says it, in this picture. It looks very good. It looks very aggressive. But the next picture, because of that hand, uh, because of that uh, left hand. Uh, makes your a mistake by making a low low swing. The Stacy Stacy shows Stacy trying to 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 use that uh, that aggressive takeoff, but the previous mistakes make make her uh, make her position not as good. And so this is all for Vitaly. Yeah. So the, this is this is the main points of, of the free takeoff, and this is what he is uh, preaching for a long time, and this is what makes the success of, of all athletes he is working with. So the plan is made in the two steps. Yeah, uh, the the hands are leading the uh, outstripping. The hands are leading, uh, are leading the the foot, the feet. So you plant with your hands. So before he shows that again, uh, the, the 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 rhythm of the of the plant is hands, foot, hands, foot. Yeah, the, the plant has, the, the, the pole cannot move neither forward uh, nor backward, it's just in front of the body, uh, in front of the athlete. And when, you, when you plant your last step, your left hand is supposed to be straight. Trying to continue the, the transfer of the uh, run, uh, of the of the energy of you got from the runway into into the pole through the left hand. And after you take off, you can bend your 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 left hand, and and you're trying to reach uh, the the elbow with your with your with your uh, with your uh, chest. This is what he calls This is what he calls a, a free takeoff with the following uh, load of the pole. Look at it again. Yeah, you, you're trying to take off into the left hand. He can talk about that and more and more and more, but, it's <laughs> <laughs> but at this point uh, he wants to, uh, to give a word for a, a, a gymna gymnast coach who worked with him, uh, with Gibelisco. He gonna the, the, the next speaker gonna tell you what to do next.